Hey scientists! Time to... God, I don't have a good one-liner! Whatever. Kaboom! Wait, that... That didn't do anything. Uh... Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into the Origin Classic, Crusader No Remorse. This is the game where a lone warrior mercenary must go on bounty quests and other mercenary missions in a sci-fi universe to collect money and reputation. Uh, sound familiar? Uh, if you've been watching The Mandalorian, it just might. There's no Baby Yodas in this, but our main character totally looks like a Mandalorian. And I would be lying if I said that uh, watching and enjoying the, the new Mandalorian series did not inspire me to actually go back and play this one. This is a classic game, as I say, by Origin. So the folks who did uh, Ultima and Wing Commander, also uh, published by EA back when EA sort of had a soul in the 90s. Um, this has long been on my to play list. I've long wanted to play it. I just haven't gotten around to it. But uh, I was looking at the games I had in my GOG library uh, recently, and I noticed it, and I was like, man, that guy totally looks like The Mandalorian. Then I was like, man, I should totally play this game. Uh, so I had originally not intended to interrupt my PJs and indie game series. I was just going to play that through, play all sorts of indie games. But I decided I'm going to take a little detour back to the world of retro, because why not? It's in the zeitgeist of the culture right now. And we're going to go for some Mando-style mercenary action in this uh, awesome uh, game. Uh, I am, by the way, not caught up on The Mandalorian. <laughs> I am uh, just watched episode 6, which was the uh, Prison Break episode, which is totally awesome. And just seeing those characters run around, like, you know, hallways, killing droids and stuff, it, it really made me want to play a game like this. So I'm so excited uh, for today. Um, just look at these characters. I don't know what's going on, by the way. A robot killed a bunch of, uh, we'll call them Mandalorians, for lack of a better word. I'm sure they're like some kind of super soldier from the future. But, uh, whatever, let's give it a shot. Crusader, no remorse. You can't have any remorse in this business, guys. You have to kill or be killed. That's the name of the game. Unless you are defending a baby Muppet, and then you've got to grow a heart. Um, we're going to go ahead and start a new game. We have difficulty options, Mama's Boy, Weekend Warrior, Loose Cannon. I have tried playing around with this game, and I will be totally honest with you. Uh, the controls are a little wonky for me. I think I figured them out, but they're a little wonky. So we're going to actually play this on an easy difficulty. We're going to have a nice, relaxed game here today. It's mostly about the experience of becoming a sci-fi mercenary, isn't it? Um, look, websites in the future are AVTP. Did you see that? Um, this guy is my leader. This is sort of a command and conquer style, uh, you know, cutscenes here. I remember back in the 90s, that was like all the rage, guys. Like, as soon as Command & Conquer did live actors, like Kane, Kane was such a big deal. As soon as uh, there were like live actors uh, in cutscenes, it's like every game wanted to copy it. So here's our mission. We're taking a, re a refinery offline. An informant is going to give us a security card. And then we have to destroy, I think it was a thermal coupler. Yeah, see, I've I've done a little scouting on this mission ahead of time. I love the graphics, by the way, and, like, the, the computer effects and stuff. This so, this so looks like Star Wars. Like, it could be a 90s-era Star Wars game, you know, if they had just branded it. You know, like, branded it like a cattle. Put Star Wars right on the side of that box. There's your Star Wars game right there. So here we are. We play as uh, John Goodman. The, uh, John Goodman, John, John, John Goodcop, the, uh, guy here. I've, I've stuck this guy. Get your hands up, punk. How dare you sound the alarm? All right. So, uh, let's see. I just turned off the alarm. So this game is all about, um, alarms and being detected and stuff. It's sort of like an action Metal Gear Solid from what I've read. I think that, I think I just healed myself in there. Um, so let's see. I'm still kind of, so you can do like rolls, like action rolls, like in Star Trek. You can also sort of move around back and forth. You can duck if you want to, if that pleases you for some reason. Um, but mostly it is about killing dudes. And a, a cool thing about this game is how much interactivity there was in the environment. Oh, I just shot and that alerted the guard to my presence. Boom, boom. He's not going to get a shot off on me. Uh, the game does control a little weird. 
Um, so I'm using the numpad uh, on my keyboard here, and this actually feels really old school to be playing a game solely using the keyboard. I feel like so many games now use some kind of uh, cross between a mouse and a keyboard at the least, if not everything is just going to joysticks. But to control a game totally on the keyboard is old school. This game does allow mouse and keyboard controls, but I, I just, I tried the mouse thing. I thought that was going to be the best way to play it, but it actually did not really work out all that well. It's almost better to be using just a sole keyboard, I find. All right, get your hands up. Let's see if we can, oh my God, guns, gun turrets, run, run, run. Oh God, we're taking shots. Okay, the gun turrets can't see me anymore. Let's get through this door here. Let's blow up this robot. What is this robot doing? Look, he's just wiggling around. He's your wiggler. Um, it looks like a box over here that... Oh, you dick! He's shooting me! Okay, let's blow up this robot. Kaboom! Easy. I hate droids anyway, remember? So, uh, again, we're gonna go with... We're gonna go with the idea that this guy's some kind of Mandalorian warrior. Um, Alright, we got some kind of debt pack. Detonator pack, I assume. Like, look at him! Look at him! He, he also could be sort of maybe like a 90s era Master Chief, you know, which is actually so here's so, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about the Mandalorian in today's episode. So first of all, uh, are you guys watching that show? Are you enjoying it? I certainly am. Uh, I think the thing I like most about it, you know, I, I've read some stuff online where people are like, it's kind of a shallow show. Not much is happening. It's just sort of like adventure of the week. And I think that's fair. But I also kind of think that's what I like about it. Like, it harkens back to, like, a, a simpler time in TV shows where not everything had, like, a big episodic arc for the season. You know, like in Star Trek The Next Generation, they just went on random adventures. You know, there wasn't tons of character development episode to episode. It happened gradually, but, uh, you know, it was, uh, you know, a gradual thing. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can uh, I have a key card or something like this. Uh, oh, I just, okay, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> um, but yes, it, it harkens back to sort of a simpler time, I think. Um, and definitely a lot of the effects and the, 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 you know, environments and everything will just feel so 80s uh, to me. And so I feel like that's kind of what I like about um, the show is that it is very like old school. Um, boom, boom. This is kind of a cool game, actually. Uh, speaking of the game itself, stop! He's like, hey, stop! You kill all my buddies! And I'm like, guess what? I'm gonna kill you too! See, what he should do is just kill me the second he sees me. We just teleported into here. Okay, there's a portal up. Or not a portal, a force field. Can we open this? Um, but yeah, so anyway, despite the criticisms of The Mandalorian, I feel like it is a great uh, old school... Uh, show it, it really makes me feel like I'm watching a Star Wars show that could have been made in the 80s and that's all I want that's all I want you know like I was never the biggest fan of the prequel series I feel like the prequels were eh, fairly disappointing and I know some people really like them uh, but it's like they're just not for me you know there's there's just there's many reasons why I don't like them I could go into them I think the one one thing that okay we just got a new gun we should switch to that the one big thing that I think I've realized in watching The Mandalorian that I think the prequels did is I think they ruined Jedis. <laughs> now, this is, again, my opinion. You might not agree. But I just think Jedis were so cool, partially because they were so mysterious and we didn't see them in action a lot or know a lot about them, just stories. When you actually watch the prequels, it's like there's lightsabers everywhere. The mystique of Jedis is kind of like just ruined because they're just way too plentiful and abundant and every scene has a lightsaber fight there's so many lightsaber fights it's unbelievable you know whereas like some people uh some some of the things i've been reading about the mandalorian is like people are saying the mandalorian uh have become the new jedi where like they are more interesting than the jedi now and i kind of agree with that i kind of like w one thing that the mandalorian tv show has revealed to me is like i would totally be on board with more Star Trek T or not Star Trek Star Wars TV shows that had nothing to do with the Jedi, and they don't have to all be Mandalorian themed. They could, there's so many different interesting elements of that universe to explore. I would just be interested to see non-Jedi based stories. You know, like um, oh, here we go. I have no idea what the passcode for that is. Oh God, that was the wrong passcode. Okay, pro tip: don't just enter random passcodes. Oh, we have a shotgun. I forgot. 
Don't just enter random passcodes when, uh, when prompted. Okay, do I have, like, an inventory item that would somehow reveal a passcode to me? The thermal coupler looks like that. Have we seen anything that looks like that? I don't think we have. Enhance. It's, like, totally from Blade Runner. Mission objectives. Gain keycard from Rebel Informant. Locate the thermal coup coupler on level four and destroy it with a blast pack. Wait a sec. Was this level four? Because I there were things in here, but I wasn't really paying attention. So look at all these things. Are these thermal couplers? Can we talk to this guy? Does he want to talk to us? He does not. Okay, it looks like there's something on the ground right over here, but that might have been my old weapon. Oh no, I still have it. Hmm, I don't know then. Can we flick that? Does that do anything? Nothing. Okay, and we searched around over here. This game always also reminded me of Fallout from, uh, from like screenshots I would see in magazines, but it's very different. This is like a real-time uh, action game, whereas Fallout is like a turn-based RPG, and this is not an RPG, I don't think. Pretty sure you don't upgrade your skills and stuff. This is just totally an action game. All right, I like how there's like Star Trek t uh, style teleporters and stuff. Oh, is this a computer terminal? Yes, from security. Due to recent rebel activity, the code uh, to operations has been changed to 558. Remember, delete this message. Spies are everywhere. Pro tip, don't leave uh, the code to your secret door right in front of the secret door. 558, enter. That's so cool. So this game was heralded, speaking about the game for a bit and not Mandalorian, <laughs> this game was heralded for the amount of interactivity there was in the environment. Back in the day, this was a huge amount of interactivity. Also a cool thing about it that we haven't seen too much yet is that the environment is very destructible. Um, and I guess we don't really have explosive weapons or anything yet, but a lot of the environment can be affected and destroyed. Okay, we're gonna draw our weapon here. And kaboom! There we go. Oh, steam vent just burst. Hey, maintenance guy, you might want to get on that, eh? I'm just here to uh, rob you of your money, your thermal credits, and if you're hiding any baby Muppets, I'll take those too. Oh my god, he killed himself by walking into the steam. Dude, you gotta get... You, you gotta... That's embarrassing. You gotta get better. Uh, remote alarm panel user TZ81664 area secured. Stand down from alert. There we go. Also, don't worry about the random steam that's just pumping into the room. Okay, so how do we do this? Oh, God, okay. There is a way to jump. Um, if we go... Hold on. Put your weapon away. And... Nope, nope. Uh, ow. Huh! Okay, whatever. We just took some damage. <laughs> I have med packs. I can heal. Uh, ow, ow. Dude. Can you stop shooting at me for once? I think I'm on your team. Actually, I'm definitely not. But these guys are like for these guys are like uh, discount stormtroopers. They could afford the stormtrooper helmet, but that's it. They don't get anything else. They don't get any of the uh, uniform or armor. It's just they're just in their casual clothes. Maybe I'm invading an imperial base on casual Friday. So everyone still has to wear the helmets because it has like you know goggles and. Uh, you know, radio communicators, but like they're basically in their pajamas other than that. Maybe that's what's going on. All right, this looks like a keypad. Oh no, it's just a door opening thing. I wonder if you could shoot those to like open or close a door. They always do that in, uh, in TV shows and stuff. Like if they need a door open, they'll shoot a command panel and the door will open. Or if they need the door to close fast, they'll shoot the command panel and open it. Apparently destroying a command panel for a door in a sci-fi show just does whatever. It's like it will either open or close the door or lock it permanently sometimes. You know, it just kind of, it, it does whatever. It's, it's sort of, you know, the convenience factor, really. Um, oh, God, can I shoot that thing? Kaboom! Man, you just destroy everything. Okay, my health is kind of low. I'm going to press M for med pack. Boom, and it healed me up. There was no animation to that. I wish there was, just so I could get a sense that uh, it actually did something. But other than that, that's fine. Is there anything to get around here? Let's make sure to search this guy's body. Getting credits. 
So uh, I wish there was a little bit more animation in terms of when you get stuff from guys and when you use med packs. And also, like, look at that. There's there's sort of like some weird animation glitches here. Like if I walk up into this, see how it like almost teleports me around the barrier. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's not sort of a perfect game, but I mean, all things considered, when this game came out. This is revolutionary, man. And actually, you know, these, these like, minor quibbles, I don't think they necessarily really detract from the gameplay. Uh, you just sort of, I, like, I'm kind of getting used to them and not even noticing them, to be honest. I do wish the screen scrolled, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. What it is. Okay, we're going to back out of that room. I like how he just backs out. He's like, ah, there's a gun turret. Forget about that. Let's see what we got going on down here. Also, we have to pay attention. When we get to level four... We need to make sure to blow up the thermal thingy. Hopefully, they'll make it kind of obvious. This music also kind of does not fit with what I would have thought uh, you would have for this. Like, I would expect sort of more dire uh, music for this. Can we talk to this guy? He doesn't want to talk. All right. He fears us. Look at our awesome armor. Like, we are the Red Mandalorian. Look at this. Or we're like an evil stormtrooper. I don't know what we are, but it's totally cool. Um, so going back to Star Wars for a second here. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but does the Mandalorian remind any of you guys of like the Master Chief from Halo? Because he totally kind of reminds me of that. And I was kind of thinking like going along the lines of the whole thing about how the Mandalorians are like the new Jedi and they're like more interesting now than the Jedi. And people are like, we should see more Mandalorian, uh, you know, movies and stuff. Um, I, I kind of would be totally on board if they started to make Mandalorian themed video games and they, it was just basically a rip off of either uh, Halo if you want to do an action game or else like Metal Gear Solid if you want to do um, you know like a stealth game like this like you could basically make this uh, just modernize it a bit and you know throw like Pedro Pascal's you know Mandalorian dude in it and boom you got a Mandalorian game like, like, you don't really have to do all that much. Hey, this guy looks like he might be on our side. I am here to take your command codes or whatever. Look at this old computer. I like how they thought in the future this is what computers will look like. It is speakers mounted on the side of a monitor. It's not even a true flat screen. It's like a semi-CRT. And look at the base of that thing. That is a beastly desktop computer. I love it. Now we're facing with remote desktop. I love seeing what people in like the 80s and 90s and even the 50s thought the future would look like like have you guys watched johnny mnemonic it is an old keanu reeves movie and oh i'm controlling a robot oh my god i didn't know you could do this this is freaking awesome holy crap yes i want to control this robot you're like oh my god a droid's gone loose yeah guess what he's gone loose and he's gonna gun you all down can I, uh, is there anything else to destroy here? I, I feel like I definitely want to take advantage of this. Oh, yeah. You guys want to come and get gunned down by some kind of security droid? It's like an Ed 209 knockoff. He's like a really skinny Ed 209. Okay, anything else? Maybe I could, uh, deactivate these security cameras, actually, for my dude. Make my life easier when I turn back into human form. Oh, that just exploded! See, I told you you can destroy the environment. I just don't happen to know what's destructible. Because I've never played this game before. Alright. Uh, we are done. Except, accepted. Good. How, how do I get out of this? S. Advance. Okay. <laughs> I have to look up the key to, uh, undo, to unbe, uh, a, another character. I, like, am I just the robot forever now? There's gotta be a key to fix this. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I think we just press escape to let go of this droid. So, yep, there we go. Also, apparently, I think this guy's name is the Silencer, which is totally cool. Um, that is really neat. So, yeah, the Silencer. He could be the next Master Chief. Um, or, uh, you know, as I was saying, the Mandalorian could be the next Master Chief. I mean, just like the way he carries himself and the way he, like, fights in combat. I would love a Halo-style game where you basically play as the Mandalorian. That would be so awesome. Oh, and here's another thing. When, they're, when the alarms are sounded, you can't use keypads and stuff. So I tried to use this, and it was like, Code Red is active. So maybe if we deactivate Code Red. I've hit my keycard. Do not open the safe unless it's absolutely important. For there could be Rebel Saboteur. Rebel Scum. 
Um, this could be for real this time. Uh, 962 is this week's passcode. Okay, so I can go. I should be able to turn off the alarm somewhere. Wait, what was that? Oh, it's like a floor panel that sets off the alarm. Gotcha. Okay, so first of all, let's hop in this med booth and heal ourselves up. 962, I think, was the passcode. There is... Oh, a med kit in there. All right, cool. Let's try going in this teleporter and see where this takes us. Well, actually, before we teleport, I'm going to quick save here. Quick save. Yes. Game saved. So, uh, like many games of its era, it did not have sort of a... Can I, can I go in this? What's happening? Okay, I guess I can't. Okay, we got, we got to find out how to turn off the alarm. Um, but anyway, like many games of its era, it did not have checkpoints. Um, and when you think about it, like checkpoints are really kind of the... Uh, oh, we, oh, security cameras. Oh, cool. Can we use like this one over here? Remote operation watch station now active. Oh, look at that. So we can like look ahead to like places we're going to go. That's super cool. Okay, one of these has to disable the security alarm. Must It must be the case. Let's just see what we got going on over here. Hey, look, there's a guy in there. Did we kill that guy? Did we skip a room? Let's see here. Oh, look. What are you doing in here, sir? I thought I killed everyone in this room. Boom. Anyway, we have the game saved. Um, but yes, when you think about it, like... A, uh, a checkpoint is kind of like a poor man's or a lazy man's quick save. You know, like you, the game saves, but it just sort of, uh, you know, you don't have to like quick save it yourself. Like in the 90s, if you wanted a quick save, you had to quick save the game, man. You couldn't, uh, you, you know, you couldn't mess around. Um, oh, there could be puzzle solving here where you have to get the droid on the other side of that. Uh, security like panel thing that sits off the alarm over here then as the silencer you go and you turn off the alarm and then you can play as two characters past that point with the alarm off interesting I wonder if that is something we're gonna have to play around with uh, oh shoot what was the uh, what was the code nope I want the uh, computer code there we go uh, hidden my thing keep the, the safe closed 962 I didn't want to get it wrong. I'd probably activate the alarm again. 962. Enter. Do, 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 do. Hacking. Hacking. Activated. Okay, now we... Oh, we have the key card. Oh, we have the key card. Okay, that's what we needed. So now... So here's here's my idea. I, I think maybe there's something to this. I'm going to control the robot. Uh, I'm going to send him... Now interfacing with the droid remotely. Unit is now online. Okay, we're gonna send this droid over here. See, follow my logic. He's going to set off the alarm, but then we can go back and we can turn it off. Oh, the alarm just isn't active. Okay, can we go in the teleporter? Yeah, I don't think the droid knows how to use a teleporter. So, okay, so, you know what? Well, we're gonna go and use it ourselves. All right, well, I was overthinking it. But that would have been a cool puzzle mechanic. Is there anything over here? Just the credits in this dirty guard's pockets, which we've taken. But yeah, does this music sound like way too upbeat for this game? <laughs> like this is, I'd expect darker music for this, this game. Okay, that doesn't do anything either. Okay, clearly we have to go back. I wonder, do we have a map? Oh no, but we can jump. Look at him. He, did, he, he, he does like quite the leap there. Huh. Apparently you can also run, but, oh, there we go. Oh wait, how did that work? He ran for like a second. Oh, I guess you have to like build up speed. Yeah, look at him go. Oh, cool. So he like doesn't, he doesn't like run from like a standstill. Yeah, there you go. All right. Um, I think there was something over here if I recall correctly. Oh, hello. Oh shoot, I just walked on a mine. All right, there was like a second door somewhere around here. Um, the problem is now I'm like gonna get lost in this big, big environment over here. Okay, now that doesn't look right. Uh oh, where do we go? 
Oh, hello. I think I found it. Oh, there we go. All right. I uh, I thought it was going to take me a lot longer to find find out where we needed to go here. Okay, let's go ahead and jump over this, whatever that was. It probably just stares. Oh, that guy's shooting at me. That jerk. Hey -oh. We shoot at him? Oh, there we go. Boom. I like how the game kind of like auto-aims for you. It's like as long as you're in the general direction, it's like you got it. Kaboom. I don't know what that was. Um, can we... Can we jump over this? No. Huh! Oh! Okay, you can do that. Noted for next time. Oh, I don't think so. Boom. I wish you had blaster guns in this. That's my one complaint. Oh, shoot! <laughs> what the? I thought I was walking straight. Oh, the fan blew me. The fan blew me. Okay, how do we uh, quick load? Quick load, yes. All right, we've loaded. Yay. All right, now I think we do have to go back and turn off the alarm and open the safe again. 962, I think, was the code. All right. Well, we, we kind of messed up there, guys. See, if you had a checkpoint, if you had the lazy man's quick save, then uh, the game would save it for you. Checkpoints are kind of interesting because, like... This game has a quick save feature. I can save whenever I want. Whenever I want, in old school games, you could just save. So it's like you never really had too much danger of, uh, you know, like, losing the game. Because you could always, you could even, like, grief save. Where, like, you saved every, like, ten seconds. And you could make it through, like, really hard parts of games. It's kind of like using save states. But nowadays, with modern checkpoints, it's like the game saves for you so you don't have to worry about forgetting to save and then getting screwed but at the same point you kind of are less in control of when the saves happen so you can't sort of save state your way through a difficult part of uh level so pretty interesting actually sort of to think of the pros and cons of a quick save system i think ultimately checkpoints are better because it basically is a, a foolproof quick save um, and it also allows the developer to have some control over difficulty and not let people sort of just totally cheese their way um, through hard parts. Ha! Huh. Oh, he's on fire! Look at him run! Oh my god, that was so cool. So cool. That was so worth it. We might have burned up all the credits he had in his pocket, but that is okay. That is so worth it. Uh, yes, he has nothing in his pocket now. Okay, so let's kill this guy. And then let's quick save. Yes. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Ha! Huh. Okay, that worked. So we just had to not be like right on the edge. That was how we did that part. All right. Also, these guys are shooting me, but I am not taking damage. I don't quite understand how that works, but I'm also not going to question it. Huh. I just took damage there. Okay, don't be near the edge. Huh. Okay. Well, uh, this upbeat music, I can't get over it. It's it's totally 90s. It's totally 90s. Boom! Oh, you like that move? I'm getting better. I'm learning. I'm becoming a more effective bounty hunter assassin silencer dude. Also, I didn't realize there's totally line of sight and stuff. Well, as soon as I opened that door, this whole area revealed. But before I did, um, you actually couldn't see what was in this room. It was quite cool. Kaboom! Destroy that security camera before it caused me trouble. Oh, we killed that guy from, like, across the room with a shot. This shotgun has range, man. Most shotguns do not have that kind of range. Oh, what is that? Is that something I want to destroy? I won't take my chances. I don't know what this is. Seems to be nothing. Seems to be inert. Just wasted some ammo on it. It's okay. Can I get in here, though? Debt pack, energy cube, landmine. Okay, I have, I have inventory items. We should be looking at these things. So that's like my little Nokia cell phone that tells me about my mission. I don't know what that is. Nah, I don't know what that does. Uh, those are detonation packs or bombs. Or those are something. Those are my credits. Med pack little spider mine thing let's try using the spider mine thing and see what it does let's wait until there's some okay there's a bad guy so we're gonna use it oh there it goes oh what the heck 
It just suicided. All right, here you go. Have a little spider mine on me. Oh, it's remote controlled. I remote controlled it into a box. Okay, well, next time. Next time, I've got it. Oh, jeez, that thing across the room is trying to sh kill me. I think my shotgun has range. Oh, man, I don't know what blew up there. But a lot of this room went up. Okay, what is any of this stuff? Nothing. Let's go over here. This worker's like, uh, gonna get the scare of his life. I won't kill you, but just, uh, you better not tell the guards I was here, man. I don't want to have to kill you, but I will. Remote operation station now active. Security cartel. All right, there's a worker and a dude hanging out, having a party on the walkways. Noted. That's coming up, guys. You get a little preview of our... Awesome future here. Let's take this key card. This is a long first mission, by the way. Like, I, I did not realize. I thought we'd be able to, like, select. You're fired. <laughs> Turn in your badge and collect your things. All right, that guy. So, dude, I have some bad news for you. You've been fired. Also, get on your hands and knees and pretend you never saw me or I will kill you. To all our refinery ops. Brant has contaminated the fifth level with dangerous plutonium isotopes. Be careful where you step. Okay. Seems like you also might want to not go there. Not Don't just be careful where you step. Be careful where you be. You could uh, be electrocuted. Or not electrocuted. I mean, I could be electrocuted. But you could, uh, you know, suffer permanent radioactive damage by just hanging around raw plutonium. The guy's put his hands up over there. He's like, I'm, I've still surrendered. I still surrendered, Mr. Silencer, sir. I promise you, everything is okay. Oh, damn, didn't mean to open that door. Didn't mean to open that door. Oh, God. Uh, we need to kill that security camera. Immediately. Oh, and dodge that thing. Oh, my God. And kill this guy. Whoa, that was an action sequence. If you tighten up the controls a bit, this game would be pretty crazy. Um, oh, there's a there's a security thing right there. Didn't see you. Get rid of you. Uh, okay, I just turned off the laser. Let's see what's going on with this computer here. Remote alarm panel. Area is secured. Stand down from alert. Okay, so some of those computers just deactivate the local alarm. Wait, is there something in here? Okay, that seems to be where I go next. Man, this first level is massive. This first level is massive. It's crazy. M Green, you will have to learn to write down new passcodes. Can't keep giving these out. 270 is this week's passcode. All right, that's an easy one to remember. Do we get a Coke or something? Maybe. We'll assume our guy got an awesome, delicious space soda. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> you know what else uh, is kind of interesting about, uh, you know, Mandalorian, Star Wars, and stuff? Mandalorian came out sort of in the Christmas season. The new Star Wars movie is like out around this time. When did Star Wars become like a Christmas thing? You know, like I know there was a Star Wars holiday special back in the day, but that was a bit of a joke that George Lucas liked to pretend didn't happen because it was so bad. And it is so bad. Um, although oddly, the Mandalorian TV show makes a couple of references to it, like mentioning Life Day in the first episode. And I think the Mando's uh, blaster gun is the gun that was in the holiday special. So, uh, yeah, Disney, oddly enough, is, like, putting nods to the, the special that, uh, you know, used to be, like, forbidden to talk about by, uh, by George Lucas. But anyway, um, yeah, like, when did Star Wars become, like, a holiday thing? I, I don't mind it. For some reason, the Star Wars movies kind of feel holiday-ish and festive. My, uh, my grandmother, who was, you know, just a, a perfect old little British lady uh, my whole life, for some reason, like, was, like oddly oddly enjoyed the star wars movies and i always remember thinking she was so cool as a when i was a little kid because of that i was like here's this like old little british lady and she likes the star wars movies and i can connect with her on that and that is just so nice and maybe she did it because of her grandkids because like me and my cousins it's like there's about half boys half girls but of course all the boys love star wars and so maybe she just sort of got into them because of us uh, which is pretty sweet if you think about it, but yeah, I mean, I always, I, 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 to this day, have fond memories. I think of my grandma whenever I watch. Uh, oh damn it, we died! Oh shoot, I didn't quick save. 
Uh, okay, let's load this back up. At least we know where we're going now. Oh, and we're back here, so that's not too bad. Um, but yes, I, I still think of my my grandma when I watch Star Wars, and it's it's a fond, nice memory. I, I really appreciate that uh, she did that. So yeah. Note note to all you people out there: if you have kids, or, oh, we can destroy these kids or grandkids. You know what? Whether you like My Little Pony or not, if you have a daughter or granddaughter who does, watch it with her. It'll be nice for her. Whether you like Star Wars or not, watch it with your son if, or your grandson if he likes to watch it. Or she. Maybe you have a daughter who likes it. You know, whatever. Kids kids remember these things and, uh, you know, sticks with them. Anyway, I, I, let, let's get back on to, like, the adult stuff here, man. What are we talking about? You know, kids and stuff. The Christmas season, we should be talking about killing stormtroopers who wore their PJs to work and other such stuff. That's like a security camera or something. Or a security gun. Okay, God, leave me alone. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, hold on. We're going to quick save. Yes. All right, there we go. As long as we're going to try and stay up to date on the quick saving. Anytime I go and play one of these older games, I have to, like, remember to get back into the habit of uh, continually quick saving. Because you just have to do it in these old games. They expect you to, you know. Boom. I don't know what that giant explosion was. Um, are these thermal couplers, by the way? I can't even tell. Let's go back to our mission for a second. Thermal coupler. They're kind of close, but I'm guessing they're not. Yeah, okay, it looks totally different. Once you add color, it's like not even the right thing. Okay. Um, boom. Oh, the elevator like hit my shoulder. There we go. Dude, get out of the way. All right, I'm going to kill you. But not because I want to. Only because you're in the way, man. There you go. Your rotting corpse can continually ride that elevator up and down. Oh. Bad guy decided to teleport in right behind me. Boom. Who's the faster draw? He is. He got two shots off before I got one. Damn. Oh, yeah. That's uh, the plutonium warning. All right. Down we go. And massive first level here. Just massive. This game also, by the way, I should say, uh, talking about the game a little more rather than just... This isn't going to be a video purely about Star Wars, even though I've talked a lot about Star Wars. But, uh, I mean, what can, what can I say? It is... Tis the season, I guess, for Star Wars. Um, but... Oh, let's kill that thing. That thing caused us so much problems. Oh, God. Die. Wait, well, why did that fly at us? That was weird. Um... But this game was ported for PS to PS1 and Sega Saturn. It's kind of interesting to think of the PS1 and Sega Saturn as direct competitors, but they totally were. It's just kind of interesting because, like, obviously the PS1 or the PlayStation franchise of consoles generally has gone on to, uh, you know, be uh, very successful and stuff over time, whereas the Saturn was like... There was, like, one Saturn, and it was done, you know. Like, Sega went out of business after... The, well, not out of business, but they stopped making consoles. The next console after the Saturn, which was the Dreamcast. But, um, but yeah, this game was ported to both. Um, apparently, the ports are fairly well-received. They even had a few extra features, like the ability to, I think, dive forward or something like that. Um, but... Uh, interestingly, with uh, Crusader here, this game was originally programmed in C++ and Assembly, and so when it came to porting it to the uh, Saturn... Oh, sorry, dude. Didn't mean to kill the worker, but I guess he's dead. When it came to porting it to the Saturn and, uh, and PlayStation 1, they basically had to rewrite the source code from scratch because, you know, it was written in, like, very low-level computer language. Whoops. 270. There we go. All right, we're going to go ahead and quick save. Yes. Okay, we're at full health. Feeling good. Lots of ammo. Surrender never! I don't know what my informant's going to look like, by the way. I feel like I, my original plan for this was like, hey, let's play a uh, couple of missions in a Crusader here. We're like 40 minutes in. I, I kind of feel like we're going to play... Oh, God. We're going to play one mission. Like, all we have in us is one, I think. Because, like, how long is each mission going to be here? There we go. Let's push that thing. Whatever that did. Oh, no. 
I don't know how to destroy those things. They seem like really tough. Like they take a lot of uh, a lot of bullets. Maybe I just run. Okay, this is a, an opportunity to run. Run! Run! Open that. Run! There we go. This is working. Oh god. Jeez, that guy. That 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 is not a nice guy. Let's see if we can just open this. Kill him real quick. Get the hell out of here. All right, we have made it. Oh, this guy's throwing grenades. That's not cool, bro. Not cool. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, some of those platforms will kill you. To so sort of like a Castlevania 2 system going on there. Oh, my God. The electricity just killed that guy. One of your workers was just straight up killed, man. You need better safety standards in this place. Okay, we're just running. Running, taking some shots. That's okay. Gonna keep running. Oh, God. I think at this point we can actually just sort of fight. Because I don't think there's any other, uh, like, security things going on here. Gonna wait. Oh, kill this guy. I'm, like, totally in full view of that camera, but for some reason it didn't see me. I will take it. Boom. There we go. Um, oh, I guess we didn't even have to do that. What's in this box? Energy cubes and medical kits. Hey, wait, can I use these energy cubes? They must do something. Oh, they give me energy. Ah, I'm just going to use them up. Why not? All right, and we will go ahead and quick save. There we go. All right. Uh, you know what? I have a feeling at this stage, I'm like not even in the right uh, factory. I'm like totally shooting up the wrong factory. Because like, oh God, oh, one of these things. Run! Run! Because, like, I have not seen that thermal decoupler thing that they want me to, uh, you know. Let's, uh, can we blow up one of these barrels? Man, they take so many shots and they don't do anything. Oh, God, I almost just walked right off the edge there. Um, but, yes, I have not seen this thermal thing that we're supposed to, like, blow up for our mission. So, it's like, I don't even know if it exists. Damn, the, the gun can basically shoot across the screen. There's no such thing as range in this game kind of interesting in some ways this also feels a bit like Diablo like I said this game uh, always reminded me of Fallout when I saw the screenshots like a more sci-fi base I mean Fallout is sci-fi but um, Fallout is post-apocalyptic you know like Mad Max kind of whereas this is more like a Star Warsy type stuff um, so this this definitely reminded me of sort of looked like Fallout because of the isometric viewpoint um, but the characters looked more Star Star Warsy uh, but I still wanted to play it, for sure, as a kid. Security cartel, now active. Right. Is this going to show me the final where I need to go, by the way? No, it's just one dude, his security post is standing on a floating platform above a pit of lava. That is the worst security post ever. That guy, he drew the short straw when it came to work detail. Also, look at these sweet future beds. This is where uh, all the security guards sleep. When they're not being killed by me, by uh, moi. Alright. Oh, look at this guy. This is our dude! Here's a security card to get you past level three. <laughs> there are mechs patrolling beyond that point. Listen, you've got to tell Central that they've got to find someone else to handle the meetings. I am jeopardizing my cover being here with you like this. I'm just a scientist. I love this actor. This is hilarious. Suspicious back at the lab. Hurry! The guards are coming! It's also pretty good that they did not give me the option to kill him, because I probably would have. Not like, because I'm bloodthirsty, but like I would not have recognized that that guy was like suddenly on my side. Also, I like how he's like, hurry, the guards are coming! It's like one guard. Two guards. Okay, we killed them both. Let's just uh, get out of here. <laughs> Run away. Oh, three guards! How will I ever handle these guys? Okay, this guy is doing a hell of a lot of damage to me. Can you die already? Jeez. Um, let's kill this thing too. Kaboom. Don't know what that was. Some kind of security camera or something. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn, dude, you earned your paycheck. I like how he threw... He didn't even know I was there. He didn't have his weapon drawn or anything. He just casually threw a grenade 
and then sauntered through the doorway. It was like, oh shit, there's a dude here, and they got killed. So that means he was throwing the grenade regardless of whether I was there or not. He's just a dude at work who just lobbed a grenade at a bunch of explosive barrels because he thought it was fun. I 100% support that. <laughs> that, got, that is my kind of dude. That is my kind of... Oh! <laughs> got electrocuted there. That is my kind of dude. Oh, here's uh, the security guard. There's his platform. Where is he? He's derelict in his duties. Oh, I got an idea. Let's totally blow up this platform. Can we do this? Oh, no, we can only shoot him. I, I wish I knew how to aim at the platforms and stuff more. Oh, God, it's a crazy robot. Boom! Okay, let's wait till this camera's not looking at us. Let's go in and blow it up. Yeah, so keeping the secu keeping the alarms off is a major part of this game. Uh, guards will continue to spawn and stuff when alarms are on, so uh, you do not want them to be on. Oh, I actually guess I wanted that thing to be off. Oh, what the? Or I wanted it to go like that. Oh, you only have so much time. Okay, go. Okay, how do we do this? Um, how do we do this? Interesting. So when I flick the door, as soon as I take a step. Okay. Ah, oh, you bastard! <laughs> How do I... Do? Oh, there's some kind of, like, sensor on the wall here. Do you guys see this? It's very subtle. It's like... I can't even aim at it. It's like right... Right there, I think. I think that... Yeah, that's it. So it's like I can walk all the way around here. Yeah, but as soon as I cross that line, it will turn on. Okay, so how do I... How do I do this? <laughs> Just shoot it remotely? Okay, there must be something that we're missing over here. Why would they give you a moving platform if you didn't have to do something with it? My guess is you do. So let's go ahead and quick save. And... Uh, oh, what? Oh, <laughs> I was like, I can stand on that stuff? It's just grass? Okay, quick load. Okay, here, let's try and line ourselves up with this. Still not lined up. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, here we go. <laughs> he just jumped in. Okay, here we go. Ha! Huh. Oh, we made it! We actually made it. Now what? How does this help our situation? <laughs> now we're just trapped. Oh, God. Okay. So, maybe we don't jump on that? So, wh what are we supposed to do here? Oh, there we go. I figured it out. Oh, God! Okay, let's kill this guy. So, you just sort of have to be, like, standing on the other end of the, the room, really. Let's use a med pack here. I don't want to mess around and somehow die. Okay, let's get this. Whatever it is. Ooh, we got a med pack and a spider bomb. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Um, yeah, so the solution was actually pretty simple. You just sort of stand on the far end of the room and throw the switch, and as it's throwing, you just walk through the little uh, gate thingy. Ah, damn it. Okay, see, an alarm went off, and, like, it summoned a security robot and also set up a force field, so I can't go through that door. So I gotta turn the alarm off. Oh, but the force field is still up. I don't know how to disable that. Okay, second class tech strokes, started in a fire. Ooh, started a fire in the thermal coupler area. All employees, okay, so there's some kind of fire going on in the thermal coupler area. What the, what is that? It's like a little bullet hole on the wall that casually pelts you with BBs. That is a very cheap security system. Cheap is an unfair. I like security systems that are big and obvious. Okay, is this going to take us to the thermal coupler? Man, this 
Again, first level is crazy. I wonder how many levels there actually are in this game. Maybe there's like four levels and that's it. And they were like, we're going to make really long elaborate. We're at level two. We're at level two. We have to get to level four. What? What is happening with these things? It's just... Oh, God. <laughs> I was going to say, gonna say, let's just jump past them, but instead I just walked right through them. Okay, my goal is to beat one level of this game, as it turns out. Uh, can we do anything here? What does this do? Oh, it's like an exhaust thingy. A glowing mirror on the wall. Um, uh, vented a bunch of fiery steam vents on the ground. Makes sense. Oh, that is totally health. We want that. Always good to take health when you can get it. I like how they have random medical bays at work here. It actually scares me if you worked in a factory that had big giant tubes you stand in that like heal serious wounds. Because it's like, it's, it's nice that they are, want to heal the wounds of their employees, but it's like you work in an area where people are getting enough serious wounds that they're the, the company's investing in like state-of-the-art, high-powered like medical technologies. <laughs> so it's a little scary. Maybe you don't want to work in a place like that. Boom. Boom. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, I'm out of bullets. There we go. Oh, man. I, I took way more damage than I needed to there. I was totally out of bullets. Watch stations active. Another dude standing on a platform. They, they are really interested. Oh, my God. A secret room. Yes, I will take it. They're really interested in an ionic generator. They're really interested in keeping their employees standing on hovering platforms. Oh, a remote droid. Susan, roaming Susan is online. Oh yeah. Look at this droid. He's so funny. He has like a, an arm that wiggles around as he moves. What, what does this droid do? Oh, can we go kill this guard over here? He's like, what's going on, Susan? Susan? Susan's like the Johnny Five of the factory here. Oh, Susan, how could you? I told you about my kids. And he like falls in a pile of goo, gets melted down and turned into bubblegum. It's clearly a bubblegum making factory, obviously. That is why we are here. We are on a mission to shut down this unauthorized Wrigley's factory. Can Susan go in this or no? I wonder. The other guy could not teleport. No, Susan cannot teleport. All right, well, that's that's it. We can make her go fast. Can we just commit suicide? Or a susan side, I guess? That's my terrible pun for the day. All right, there we go. Susan. Oh, no, she can't. Can't even. Can we? No, Susan will not commit suicide. She Her programming forbids it. All right, well, that's enough of Susan then. All right, we killed one dude. I like how finding a secret area you're rewarded with the ability to kill one guy like we couldn't have killed that guy like it's like oh one soldier one inept soldier how could we have prevailed okay that one teleporter we found we could go in but every teleporter i've found since you cannot go in oh maybe susan has to do more than just be inept all right maybe there's a reason why we couldn't have her kill kill herself is there something that she has to do? There we go. Blue, blue stuff up. Kaboom, kaboom. Anything else? There's not seem to be anything else for Susan to do here. She can't go off the cliff. Let's go back in the room over here and just blow up anything that we can. Her only way of interacting with the environment is a gun. That's like a cruel joke. Susan's like, I want to write poems and draw paintings and love, but all the humans gave me was a gun. I can't even talk. I don't know how I'm expressing these thoughts. Maybe she's writing them on the wall in bullets. I want to love. Takes like three clips of uh, ammo to write that. Okay, well, that's all Susan can do is just destroy her world angrily. So... Okay, hold on. Have we thrown the switch? We have not. Oh, that's how we do it. Oh my god, there's like a light platform. That's cool. Oh, and I guess the guard would come at us. So maybe it is handy that Susan killed killed him so that we didn't have to deal with that crap. Let's go ahead and kill this thing. Kill these. There we go. 
I'm getting good at spotting the traps. Oh, that guy's like waiting for us. He's like, I know you're there. I will kill you. Boom. Oh God, but there's a machine gun there that sees us. That's far worse for us than we are for it. Okay, let's kill this thing. All right, I think the machine gun does not see us now. Oh God, it does. It does. Sees us. Oh, shoot! I just got blown off the thingy. Kill that guy. Let's kill this guy, too. Oh, he got blown off, too. He's not very good at his job. He's like, hey, who put this fan here? Oh, my God. There's a Susan coming for us. Is it Susan? Susan, I'm sorry. I would have liked to help you. You were like the Johnny Five. The Johnny Five I always wished I had as a kid. Guys, remember Johnny Five? Those, those are great movies. Second one was filmed in Toronto. Claims to be in New York City, but 100% Toronto in the 80s. My hometown. Um, you're not cool enough to have Sonic's panels or turn them out or else. Okay, that guy has Sonic's panels. Whatever the hell that is. Let's go ahead and open this. Does this go anywhere? I don't even know. Let's try going on this uh, little elevator pad. Okay, so there was nothing down here. So falling down really had like no impact on on anything. So we might as well just fall. Wee! <laughs> Did I take fall damage from that? Seriously? Oh, there's uh, let's search this guy's pockets. Credits and ammo. We do not have ammo for our gun yet. That is crazy. What other gun? We have all this ammo for guns, I guess, that we don't have. That guy's just like staring at me with his hands up. He's like, I still surrender, just so you know, just so we're 100% clear, and you don't kill me. I swear, I swear that I surrender. You're kind of in my way, though. So there's nothing personal, but I didn't want to walk around you. Sorry. <laughs> Pro tip, when you're going to so surrender to someone, cower in the corner. Don't just stand there and be annoying about it. Otherwise, what's the point of surrendering? Got to think about what's convenient for me. Access denied. Wait. Wait. How do I... There we go. Turn off the alarm. Do this thing. Oh, kill this guy. This is Jerry's last day of work before retirement. We just gunned him down. There's his workstation over there. He was like writing an email to his wife. He's like, it's, I can't believe it's the last day. It's so hard to concentrate. You know, like it's, it's like the ultimate Friday. You know, you don't have to come into work tomorrow or ever again. Guess what, Jerry? You still don't have to come into work ever again because you're dead. Let's write his wife an email. Dear Susan, Jerry is dead. Stand down from alert. I like how they just, they're like, oh, we got an email from Jerry's workstation saying that uh, the alarm could be uh, stood down from, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's good good enough for us. Okay, I'm going to want this thing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, we are just taking damage like a mofo. Oh, my God. It's like Star Wars lasers. You guys see that? It's like actually Star Wars laser beams. Okay, I don't know how to kill that thing. Forget it. We're just going in here. I think we finally made it to level four. This is where that generator is that we have to destroy. <laughs> We're making it. We're almost halfway done the first level. The, guys, this isn't actually even the first level. It's the tutorial level. Level one starts after this. <laughs> Let's quick save our game here. Oh, that turret is out of order. Nice to know. Those are- Oh, what the hell? That's not out of order. You guys don't know what out of order means. You guys don't know. Um, Alright, let's kill this guy. Try turning around once in a while, dick. What you doing here? I'm turning off the alarm. He's like, alright, I'm cool with that. I have no qualms with you, silencer. That guy was staring at me for a while like, Are you supposed to be here? And I just shot him before he had a chance to fully finish that thought. Because I'm cruel like that, guys. I don't like killing, but I do it when I have to. Oh, I'm totally missing that guy. Oh, med pack, please. Uh, let's see. Report daily activities, blah, blah, blah. All right, so obviously this room here is how we uh, 
God, I'm jumping all over the place. I was not trying to do that, by the way. I was just trying to walk over this room. So this is where we need to go. We need to find a way to open that door. And I think we can do this. Go up here. Oh, here we go. Let's draw our weapon. Let's do this. <laughs> I was going to say, let's do this with style. But we kind of messed it up. Okay. Let's draw our weapon. I wanted to do... No, not that! <laughs> ah. Okay, messing it up again. Up we go. Uppies. Uppies, there we go. And I wanted to do this. No, I still did it the wrong way. Okay, here, now this will be the right way. Whoa! Style. He just watched us do that. You watched me kill your commanding officer. How does it feel to be a traitor? Huh? You know what, I kill traitors. Don't let them live, I'm crazy. Because I never know when you might decide it's better to betray me next. Carrying of unregistered radiation de detective device is strictly prohibited. You're not allowed to detect radiation. You're not allowed to know if there's radiation around. All right, well, good to know, I guess. All right, what else we got going on over here? Anything? Oh God, oh God. Open that. Get the hell out of here. I do not know how to fight those turrets, so I'm like, my I have a coward strategy. My strategy is to avoid them. Also, hey, you guys got some bubbling goo on the ground here? If it wasn't bubbling, I'd say it's the glue that uh, they use to stick Judge Doom to the, uh, uh, what, the street flattener device thingy in Who Friend Roger Rabbit, but too bubbly for that, I guess. Ooh! Do you ever get the feeling like you're just stuck in another decade? Like, I feel like all my movie references and stuff are, like, 1980s to 90s. You know, like, I still think of, like, the, the fourth season of Sim The Simpsons, and I'm like, yeah, it's a good season. It still holds up today, to this day, guys, I would argue. Um, and I know it's old, but it doesn't feel that old to me, but it's it's probably a lot older than it feels. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's turn off... Uh... The door just opened. All right, we can get the hell out of here. I say we do it. Forget about forget about the trying to tango with that gun there. Oh, God, I'm stuck in the corner of the, the screen. Oh, no, but there's a force field. Okay, hold on. Let's use up our energy things. How many med packs do we have? We have five. I'm going to use one. Oh, you bastard. Okay, let's just run around this guy. And I think this is going to open the force field. I like how the gun has like a, a light uh, truce with me. It's like, all right, if you want to activate the computer, I will not stop you. Oh, oh, we're in control of this. Oh, my God, we're in control of this. That is hilarious. <laughs> you work for an evil company. I'm not a bad person. You are. Just destroy everything. That is so cool. Anything else? The gun can only aim in like very strict angles. So I guess I guess it's all we can destroy. All right, we did it. We're heroes. Um, how the hell do we get out of here, though? Um, all right, maybe we do have to kill this gun. Hold on. Can I kill this guy? You think that eventually this gun would, would die, right? Like, that that's what should happen right now? Oh, there we go. We did destroy it. Oh, so they can be destroyed. I don't know why my shotgun sucked at destroying them. Well, if that's the case, let's just kill this thing and then go open up that. Oh, we just destroyed everything. Wow, this whole room's destructible. Cool. Let's uh, see what we've got in here. Med pack? Ooh, two medical packs, so we can use one. I think that still makes us medical pack neutral for this room. Like, we used the same amount of med packs as we needed to survive it. Okay, so the exit is over here. Out of the way, nerd! I'm not even going to bother destroying that turret. There's no point. The coward's way is the most efficient path on ammo, I guess I would say. 
All right, here we go. The level four. Look at that four. That is totally a sci-fi four. Could be like a letter in an alien language even. But I recognize it as a four because I am human. And not just human, English. Like I speak English and that's a, that's a four. Um, there's a little chest over here. He gets a clip. Yeah, there needs to be like a little bit more animation like when he gets something. You know, like one th like even think back to like on the NES Legend of Zelda, the first Legend of Zelda. When he got an item, it was like, you know, um, an occasion. Like he held it above his head. He was like so happy. You got a sound effect and stuff. But I feel like in this, it's sort of, uh, you know, Ooh, look, we're playing hopscotch and we're getting electrocuted. <laughs> okay, we're bad at hopscotch. Quick save. Because I don't know how to do this part. And... Is there... There's totally a wall sensor there. Shoot, how do we do this then? Oh, can we crawl? And then roll? Okay, that didn't work. We're just getting electrocuted. It's okay. Oh, come on, you dick. It almost looks like it will work. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. There's got to be a way to get past those things. Can we... Can we just, like, permanently crawl? Will it let us do that? No, will it let us jump? No. I'm going to figure out how to get past this thing, and then I'm going to quick load. Okay, think about this logically. Oh, come on! I rolled right past it! There's no way that stupid thing saw me. Can I destroy it? Like... What the... What the hell? Maybe... Okay, let's try this. Maybe there's an inventory item I can use. What is this thing? I will use this thing. I think that's a bomb. Uh... Kaboom! Did nothing. Um, okay. So this... What is this thing? I'll try using this thing. I don't know what that is. Okay. Did nothing. Maybe it will deactivate this thing. Okay, I think it's a mine. <laughs> Does not help my situation. That's a mine. Okay, let's try using this thing. Okay, that, I, I don't know what's going on. Okay, hold on. Get some energy. And use this thing. Alright. Uh, like, okay, if I take one step forward, I'm screwed. Jump! Oh, what the? That worked? Okay, whatever. Uh, well, I did say once we figured it out, I would quick load. Okay. So we walk over here. So it's like a floor pressure sensitive thing. Weird. It totally looks like a little laser that th is like detecting you at like shoulder height and you should be able to roll under it. I feel like that would have been a cooler mechanic, but uh, I guess that's just me. Uh, I can't search anything in here. All right. You know, if I was in charge of security here, I would change, obviously, all the access panels to the force fields to be nowhere near the force fields. Oh my god, it's the thing that we gotta blow up. It's the thing we gotta blow up. Alright, so we drop one of these. We just figured out how to use the bomb, oddly enough. And now we're gonna go over here. Hey, scientists! Time to... God, I don't have a good one-liner! Whatever. Kaboom! Wait, that, that didn't do anything. Uh, do I have to kill these guys? Alright, whatever. You saw my face, and you saw my face. Or not my face, but my helmet. You know I exist, so I have to kill you all. Alright, let's try this again. Drop a bomb. And then use this thing. Uh, kaboom! How did that not blow it up? Is there something I'm missing here? Um, do I just shoot it? 
feel like that is definitely going to take forever to blow it up. Okay, there's got to be something else. Okay, I dropped two bombs. Nothing. Oh, maybe I use this thing? Oh, it's a special bomb. It's a special bomb. That's why I couldn't use it anywhere else. All right. So I wasted five good bombs. Oh. Well, you know, at least they give you a special item that you can't possibly screw up. Oh, what is this? A scrambled communique? Accomplish. Nice job, Tin Man. I'm the wizard with your ticket out of here. So, <laughs> and get to the teleport pad on the wizard. I had to rewire the transport grids for three whole sectors just to get this jump point, and I can't guarantee if I'll be able to hold it for long. So you best be quick. Wizard out. <laughs> the wizard. Am I a robot, by the way? No idea. I'm a robot? Imagine he thought he was human. He just thought he was like a Mandalorian guy who never took off his helmet, but really he can't because there's nothing underneath. He's kind of like Robocop, like anti-Robocop. Because Robocop's a human, but he's programmed to think he's a robot. So imagine it was robot programmed to think he was human. And uh, that guy just spoiled it. He was like, hey, robot. And you're like, wait, I'm a robot? Since when? Okay, let's try and jump over this. Oh, God. Okay, we're just taking damage here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know how to turn those floor things off. Oh my god, you can't even jump over them. Whatever. You know what? You bother me. I'm a robot. I've learned I owe no no apologies to the human race. They made me what I am. They can die. Oh my god, what is that thing? Um. Can I turn that? Yeah, that, I feel like that thing could kill me. Okay, so... Let's be careful here. Walk over here. Flick that thing. Whew. Flick that thing. Oh god, ow ow. Just gonna run past these guys. If I am a robot, I make human-like sounds when I get attacked. Uh, code has changed 742. Remember that, guys. Don't let me forget. 742. Boom, boom. I bet people who speedrun this take advantage of the fact that when he, like, bumps into the walls, he sort of, like, jumps. You know, like, they, they he pops around corners and stuff, and you could probably use that to, like, run through this game really quick. Okay, so can we just use this? Is that how this works? Oh yeah! Finally another teleporter we can actually use. We did it! We passed the level! Oh man, that was so long! That was crazy long! I thought we'd beat like two or three levels together. But I think for us today, we only have one in the cards. But I am curious to see where this leads us. Um, and maybe I'll come back to play this one sometime. Would you guys like to see more levels of Crusader here? No Remorse, a.k.a. The, night, the Mandalorian of the 90s? If so, let me know, because I could always come back. But again, in the meantime, let's sort of see what goes on here. I love these old cutscenes. Oh, look at this. Am I in control of somebody? Oh, no, I'm teleporting in. There I am. I, I love my armor. And this is my base. Listen, Captain, I'm going to level with you. I don't like this arrangement any more than my troops do. They may not look like much, but they run like freaking clockwork out in the field. And I won't stand for anything or anyone that compromises my team. Comprende? What did I do? Didn't I help you guys? Didn't I do a mission you wanted done? Down the hall from here. I doubt that it's anything like what you're used to, but the resistance makes do with whatever we can lay our hands on. You'd better settle in quickly. We lost Philadelphia to the WEC last night, and the word is that the next push is going to be in our sector. All right, noted. Oh, what? So cool. Now we get to hang out in a bar? And we can, like, talk to people? So much for the loving welcome, right, Captain? But they'll come around. They did for me. Or at least most of them did. This is so cool. This game is neat. I am so glad I got to play it. I think I'm going to save it. And someday I will come back and play more. I don't know when. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments. 
Um, obviously, I'm, I'm in the middle of playing my PJs and indie game series. I'm, I'm playing lots of indie games, which have a retro vibe to them. But so sue me, I took a break to play an actual retro game for you guys. Um, again, I was kind of inspired but because I've been watching a lot of The Mandalorian. And this guy is like The Mandalorian and The Master Chief together. Which, again, The Mandalorian reminds me of The Master Chief. I would love a, a Halo-style game uh, that was sort of... You were the Mandalorian set in the Star Wars universe. I think that would be a good game. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Have you guys been watching The Mandalorian? Do you enjoy it? Um, you know, do you like Crusader? How are you liking the PJs and indie game series? I don't know. Whatever you want to talk about, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you had fun. Uh, I hope it was enjoyable to check out this classic classic origin game with me um and uh yeah i will be back soon uh finishing off my pj and indie game series uh as i said uh in past videos the thousand one quest is on hold for until the new year so we'll be checking out some games that are not in the book and certainly this is a great game that uh, for some reason that i cannot fathom did not make it into the book but this is just an awesome game let's go ahead and quick save it here in fact, actually, let's not just quick save. Let's make a real save game. This is uh, the Dece this is, uh, December 2000 2019. Uh, we love Crusader. We love Crusade. Okay, maybe we'll come back and check this out someday, guys. All right. Until next time, I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I hope you guys are having an awesome December, and uh, I will see you soon. All right, folks. Peace. Wizard out.